Hi, this is Jody from Poppy Winkle, and this week I'm going to share with you my favorite way to decorate junk mail envelopes for my junk journal. So this is a junk mail envelope. I'll show you what kind it was in a minute. And I attached it with the flap so it's glued to the page. And it's a little private journaling spot and it actually has a little pocket here where you can put some little yummies in. And I put a piece of paper here tucked in a good ways to, to make that part pretty. It was an envelope like this, except the printed part was here in the middle. It was blank here and the printed part was here in the middle. And so I cut it on either side to make it fit into my journal because it's a little bit big. So I cut it on the bottom, I cut it on the top to make, the, to make it fit. And then what I did, my secret, is I used, on this one I used waxed paper. I printed on waxed paper and then I rubbed it on. And I'll show you how I did it. And it, it works so well. So I did that on this side before I put the sticker on. And I did it on this side, which made that, that pretty print. And then because it had the printing in the middle, I put this sticker there. Now later, I figured out that wax paper is not the best. Because here... I did the same thing, and I can you see the difference? Here it's pretty vivid, and here it's less vivid, and that's because here's my wax paper I used. This first one came off more, and then by the time I did the second one, it didn't, it had dried. It had dried on the wax paper. And so it didn't transfer as well. And I even, I took, I took this and put it on an envelope like this and ironed it to see if maybe the wax would melt onto here and transfer. And that did not work. So tip, that did not work. So anyway, I'll show you how I did it. This, I think I showed you this one. Yeah, I showed you how I made that one. Then this one is, that was a an envelope with the windows. And so for this one, I, my fingers are in there and you can't see them. And you can't see this tag in there. So on this one, I covered inside, I covered the windows with a piece of paper. So it's totally private. And then I just put these stickers on the outside. And I could have, I could have put the stickers on the page inside before I put it in too. And then I'm gonna show you also how I did it with the windows open. But anyway, there was writing up here. Again, I cut, I cut on the sides. This one I didn't cut even because the window was down here and so I left this part intact and I just cut up here further because I didn't want to cut through the window. But anyway, there's writing up here and so I put that little bit of stuff there. So after I realized wax paper wasn't my favorite, I decided to try freezer paper and that's what this is, shiny side up and I cut it the same, approximately the same size as a piece of cardstock. And my printer is very fussy about pulling things through. So I had to put tape here, 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 and here, and here. I've had other printers that aren't that fussy. So you'll just have to figure out how your printer works. But anyway, now I'm going to go print something pretty on this and I'll show you how I put it onto the envelope. Okay, so here's the print on my 
freezer paper freshly done I don't know how long this lasts it definitely lasts longer than wax paper but I haven't tried it like the next day or anything um, and so here's an envelope I trimmed down to fit in my junk journal and then this is just a piece of paper underneath so I don't mess up my my surface and you want to you want to keep this flap open because if it's down then you get weird marks on the other side when you're rubbing so once you put it down you want you don't want to move it so you don't want to be shifting it all around you want to hold it still I don't know how much you have to rub. I, I think I tend to over rub. Let's see if it worked. It did. And this is the brilliant part. See, now I'll use this second piece, the bottom part, I'll use that on the back, but you don't have to see that. Here is the brilliant part. You take a piece of paper towel and you just clean up the envelope, the window part, just like that. So then there's no, you don't have to be cutting around the window or, or fussing about that window area at all because it just erases and there you have a nice background all over the whole thing and a clean window envelope which I thought was very exciting so anyway I'll show you how I do the rest of it now so I rubbed the pattern off onto the back of the same envelope thus using up the whole page and here is the little bit of brilliance this is um whiteboard eraser you know how you have those markers you use on a whiteboard i've also used i've also used um glass cleaner and probably just a paper towel and water would work i haven't tried it but i'm guessing it would so you clean this bad boy up and it is ready to use again, like again and again and again. Wax paper, you can't do that, it's too fragile. So the freezer paper again wins, and I don't think you can clean wax paper up like this. So that's ready to go for the next one. All right, so here, here is one. You can see it had writing on it and I printed on it just like you saw and I put a little couple decorations in printed on the back this is a little um just a little card showing through and I cut it here to make it fit and then in here on the back side of it I put a little backing just so white wasn't showing through but I put it on the far side so you can see through that other one I showed you you couldn't see through so I put that on the far side then you take a piece of paper and you stick it down in just to make this part pretty because that was that was a used envelope and it's all ragged and ugly so to make this inside part pretty the little insert I'm going to glue that in and then again here it was ragged because it had been licked and I, I peeled it open there and so that was all rough and ugly and so I put some little washi petals down and some lace. So that's how I kind of covered up those ugly spots. So I would just glue this down here and then you have 
you have a pretty envelope on both sides. This, I'll need to do something with that. I'll probably, I'll probably reprint and put a little more, a little more rubbing on there. I just noticed that wasn't done. So anyway, to, to cover up all this ugly writing, I thought I would do just a piece like that. So that way you still have your envelope showing and that writing is not showing. Now, if you, if you look really carefully, there's writing down there along the edge, it's barely noticeable. And I'm fine with that. You could cover that up too. And one more little way of looking at it. This one, it was an envelope like this, and I just cut it right there to make a little tiny one. And the print I used was a black and white print on both sides. And before I put it together, you know, it was open because I cut it. It was all the way opened. Before I put it together, I also did a print inside there. So it doesn't show white, it shows the black and white. And then I used a little stamp here. Those lines are part of the envelope. And there was some writing down here and I put a couple little stickers. And there was writing here and I put a sticker here too. So just get get creative with covering the, uh, the ugly parts. Oh, and I rounded the corners, which I thought made a big difference. So those are some ideas for making some lovely journal pieces out of absolute junk. And I hope you give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Bye. One more thing I forgot to mention, correction tape. White out. If you have a piece on here and you are having trouble covering it, you can just use this. Put this down before you do the the rub on and that will that will make it look a lot better. So I could have covered all this stuff. I chose to cover it with stickers, but anywhere you want to not cover it or you know not have not have it show at all with with stickers, you can use this correction tape. All right, bye.